just a quick disclaimer i usually edit these videos to have like a, a linear structure and i kind of clip it so that it's like perfectly articulated and there's not too many like ums and me repeating things but this video this video is just gonna get the the boom bam 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 goddamn thank you ma'am it's gonna be you know i'm gonna discuss certain topics and then and then get on another topic and then come back to that same topic later on in the video or or just i'm gonna be stuttering i'm gonna be a little choppy it's just gonna be a little chaotic Maybe not even to you. It might not even come that come off that way. But to the editor, which is me, it probably is going to be. And I'm okay with that. I hope you're okay with that. You're going to have to be. Enjoy the video. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, guys. Wow. Man. I remember when I first read The Ancient Secret of the Flower of Life. I was so I was so intimidated by by the book because I remember when Drumvalo was like speaking on how to activate your Merkaba, he was saying one of the key elements to being able to activate your Merkaba was the and for those well first first of all, for those of you who don't know what the Merkaba is, the Merkaba is a tetrahedral field that surrounds our bodies. It is um, is like an energetic, sacred geometry. I think the bottom half rotates counterclockwise and the upper half rotates clockwise or vice versa. And pretty much it's just like a multi-dimensional spaceship that surrounds our bodies. It is a, it's a sacred geometry that is actually there and um, they've used it, many of uh, our ancestors, ascended masters who have walked on this plane and have ascended to higher levels, used it to ascend them to higher levels, pretty much. Like they use it as just, again, like a spaceship, an interdimensional spaceship to travel through space and time without needing a material spaceship to get there. You know what I mean? So um, when I was reading The Ancient Secret of the Flower of Life, Drumvalo was saying in order to activate this Merkaba that we all, we've all just kind of lost our ability to enable and activate, but it's still there for those of us who, you know, can do the work to activate it. Damn, I do not like the sound of planes flying above me while recording. So yeah, so Drumvalo was saying that like, in order to activate this, this very sacred geometry that surrounds our bodies, and that's integrated in our energetic vessel, it was like, we need to be in tune with Mother Earth and Father Son. In order to activate our Merkaba, we have to have a deep love, a very sincere, deep, unconditional love for the planet and for the sun, which gives us life. And I felt really intimidated when I heard that. I was just like, you know, damn, like, when I read that portion of the book, I'm like, okay, I, I like being outside. I really do. I really do appreciate Mother Earth. You know, she, she was like the first thing that that was like that was called to me in the beginning of my my remembering and my awakening. But I was like, I don't know if I can like feel it in my heart like that. You know, I think at that time I was just kind of fascinated in the mind about it. Like, oh, wow. Like look at everything just very like enamored and just very impressed with with nature just seeing it with real eyes for the first time but like a a, a deep love in my heart like i was just like I don't, I don't i don't know about that i don't know if i can feel it that deeply but i say all that to say now 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 I now I know what Drumvalo is talking about. Like I I I, I get it. I get it. I, I dead ass have cried so many times because 
I am genuinely just so nurtured, so in love, so in awe with the sunlight and with with Mother Earth and her divine expression and just the love that she has for me. And the more I love her, the more I'm loving myself and the more I'm in tune with her, the more I'm in tune with my own childlike self. And not even my childlike self, just me being a child. Literally, not my childlike as if it's being like a child. No, literally, like, we are all children of the Divine Mother. How are we not? I understand we'd rather be sophisticated adults, but that shit hasn't gotten us anywhere, honestly. Honestly. To be honest, that's that's why I've seen a lot of people's most common issue in the world is being an adult. Have you ever thought about that? Like, we too busy trying to be adults and be sophisticated, mature, civilized people. We're not even, we're not even really <laughs> tapping into our true, our true state of being, which is being children. I mean, I'm about this fucking small, if not much smaller, smaller than that. Like, uh, oh, oh, oh. I'm, I'm not as sophisticated. None of us are as we think we are. I promise. And that's not to like take away from our divinity, but like being adults, us being these mature, like being grown, like that shit does nothing for me. I, I'm forever a child of the planet. I'm forever a child of of the divine father like i feel the love so much like I, I it took me some time to get there but it was an integration of me just surrendering honestly surrendering to the to the force that that is like the world lied to me so fucking much the world just confused me and told me lies and fed me programming and conditioning so much that i I, as a person who wants to see through illusions, who who makes it a point, a very adamant point on seeing through illusions, seeing through everything that just isn't reflective of, of spirit, I had no other choice but to get to the real thing. I had no other choice but to cut to the most raw, honest truth that I could find on this plane of existence. And obviously, why would it not be? How could it not be? You know what I mean? How could it not be the how, geometry, sacred, symmetry, tree? How could it not be? How could it, you know? How could it not be the bro? The sun, honestly, like the sun is literally a what if type of situation if it didn't exist. Let me say that again. The sun is literally a what if type of situation in some parallel reality if it didn't exist. Like honestly. I can imagine someone saying in the realm in which the sun doesn't exist, like, hey, imagine if there was this, like, there was this ball of light that, like, rose up in the sky every morning and it, 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 it told everyone to wake up and start their day and it gave us warmth and gave us energy and, and gave life to all the plants. And I'm, I'm, imagine if there was just this big ball of light in the sky and it was warming and loving and, and then it sets and we go to sleep and we just follow it from sun up to sun. Like imagine if there was this thing in the sky that reflects the true light that we are. Imagine, just fucking imagine. Imagine if that existed. Well, well, God damn it, it does. And like, how can we be casual about that? Like, how can we be casual about How could we just walk outside and just like, oh, it's hot. It's fucking hot outside. Like, what, like bro, like what? It's a, it's a, it's light, like shining everywhere, bro. This is, I have the utmost gratitude. I have the utmost gratitude. I have the most unconditional love in my heart because to surrender to the love and to the nurture of the sun and of, and of earth, I am activating my 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 child like my child my inner child. Let me I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna just say the common term. It's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say what people say. I'm activating my own inner child. I am I am I am really I'm being who I'm supposed to be. You know, not who I'm being told to be. I'm being who I'm supposed to be. It's just so much more at ease this way it's so much more relaxing 
I put so much more, so much less pressure on myself to produce and and convince society of my value when I'm in utter surrender, total and utter surrender to our true divine mother and our true divine father. Honestly, like my relationship with with the feminine, with the divine feminine and the divine masculine strengthened because of these two energies, because I'm the divine union of both of them. Honestly, I even started to appreciate my mom and just mothers in general, the mother energy in general because of Mother Earth. Like I've realized just through her how important and how dire and just how powerful the presence of a mother is. And it just made me appreciate my own mom just so much more, like, just like, damn. Like, you really gotta take into account this energy that is nurturing us, that is giving us life, that is giving us the healthiest foods to eat, that's giving us the most. That is giving us the most, the most beautiful sights to see in the world. Like, if you think of the most beautiful things in this world, that exists it's it's waterfalls you know it's like beautiful sunsets and and the the, the aura that that the, the the sun leaves on the clouds you know after after it just peaks from the horizon you know like it's 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 the most abundant big beautiful tree it's flowers flower oh my god flowers don't get me oh, don't get me started on flowers bro don't get me started on flowers like this is how to activate your inner child this is how to activate your inner child. Like, step out of the fucking matrix. Step out of this, like, just, like, get out of the car. Get out of the building. Just kind of, like, get back into the abundance. Get back into the abundance, bro. Like, nature is, is, is the greatest reflection of spirit. The sun is abundant. Like, this, this, one, this one ball of light is shining for all 9 billion, 8 billion of us humans plus every single creature every single tree plant like just think about every single thing every single life that exists i mean you can't but just try to perceive it like that one ball of light is shining for all of us and it's reminding us that we are we are one we are one we only we use one sun we are we are, we're on one planet like this is the reflection of oneness of divinity like okay so have you ever seen like in a movie where someone would be holding a, a treasure chest or something like that and then they'll open it and that golden light just kind of shines on them and it's like oh like <laughs> i know y'all seen that before wait why has that been done so many times in so many different movies and shows like why is that like a common thing anyway people ask me all the time why do i watch the sunset that's 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 exactly what that is for me that's exact that that same treasure chest when they open that that golden light that shines and it's like oh my god and it's this very valuable thing that's in this box or whatever that that is the same energy i get from the sun that's the same ah <sighs> golden hour like That's literally the same energy. It's it's the same energy. It's that same potency. I I don't see how I am one of the only few people I know that is as obsessed with the sunlight as I am. I mean, I, I understand we all got different different expressions, different journeys. But like, it's 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 <laughs> it's the sun, bro. Like, 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 like what else would it be? Like, I don't, I don't understand what else would I be more fascinated about like this this shit is giving us life it is the ball of light in the sky like telling us to wake our ass up and telling us to go our ass to sleep and it's like bro like of course i'm, I'm just doing what makes sense like i didn't i didn't invent this shit like you know what i mean i didn't choose sunset tray sunset tray chose me goddamn ah <sighs> I didn't choose Sunset Trey. Sunset Trey chose me. So like,
damn here comes another plane but yeah this this is just this is just like one plus one equals two two plus two equals four for me well not one plus one equals two because one plus one really equals three but two plus two equals four like this is what this is for me this is just i'm just doing what makes sense and um i feel like you should too whoever's watching this you know it's hard to be depressed and it's hard to be sad and it's hard to like overthink about life when you're Oh! How? 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 How could you be? Where? Where's the space for that? In in this space, you know? Where's the space for all that depression and shit? When you're when you're <sighs> yes. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Mm. Mm, that smells that smells amazing too so after reading the flower of life Drumbelow express express expressed how just how important it is to connect to your lower self and your higher self and your lower self meaning not like just like your shadows or anything like that um but your inner child is what he was referencing to and your higher self is more so your uh, more evolved version, the, the version of you that has the spherical awareness, pretty much like an aerial view of your life, of your past, present, and future. And in order to connect to your higher self, you have to get in tune with Earth, have to be in tune with just who you are truly on this plane of existence just like the embodiment of what you've incarnated into which is a human being obviously with that comes you tuning into your most raw self because nature is a very raw a raw energy and the more you tap into the energy the more you just want to walk outside and be barefoot which is extremely healthy for you you know what i mean like you tap more into your primal self which is just uh honestly anybody who's really tapped into their primal self is really tapped into their most truest authentic self you know this is why i've always been very adamant on just <laughs> raw energy people who are raw people who are just unfiltered like not unfiltered in the unkind way like they're unfiltered they don't care about people's feelings but like unfiltered in their expression in their humanness in their humanity um and i know that people who can truly be in tune with earth will naturally tap into that part of themselves because that's just that's just how it works it's a symbiotic it's a symbi it's a very much of a cause and cause and effect type of ordeal and honestly this is also another reason why when i'm talking about love and i'm always whenever i'm just having conversations about what love is with with people i i know i'm always mentioning the words raw and the in the quality and the essences of being unfiltered and just you know being authentic and and just being primal because that's what it is that's that's the force of love it is the force of nature it is the force of mother earth it's the it is the energy of the sun it's just it's not this like i don't know what the fuck we try to think that we already civilized like you know sophisticated constructed people or these adults that are grown and we pay bills and like okay i understand that part of the world i'm not going to neglect it you know that's why i'm here to to transmute a lot of that that's when the word radical comes into play it's like what does radical mean it really means it's like truly revolting towards whatever does not serve whatever is really not serving us as human beings and serving our truest nature you know and it's going to take steps to get there because this whole world is is just made out of an illusion. It really is. So I'm not expecting that shit to happen overnight. I'm not expecting it to happen all in my lifetime. But uh, I am here to help towards that cause, you know, to plant seeds towards that cause. And I understand its purpose in being civilized human beings. You know, I get it. I have a car. I like going out to eat. I like some fine dining, you know what I mean? I like a nice, comfortable home, nice interior, interior space, you know what I mean? I, I like that shit. I get it. I'm I'm here for it. But to to lead with that and then put this second, put 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 all of this in the in the back, like make this secondary, not this 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 is primary. 
we're not gonna get anywhere without making this primary and you're not gonna really tap into your true self without making this a primary a primary destination a primary connection not destination fuck that because I, I had to travel to get here that's why I said destination but <laughs> and I understand there is so many different expressions of consciousness on this planet uh, there's not one one way to tap into your spirituality, but come on, bro. You're not connected to the planet. How are you connected to, to your body? Like it's made of earth. That's where it's going back to. So how could you not? And of course, the more you tap into this energy, you're gonna remember that you are a divine child, a divine union of the mother and father, and you'll create more sustainable connections in your life it'll start to reflect in every aspect of who you are and you won't fall for any gimmicks fall for any games that the system tries to play on you or tries to play on all of us because you know it's real and you know it's not i'm trying to tell y'all this is why i'm like big on not falling for illusions just like being my own sovereign thinker i'm a pisces and and pisces are known for being lost in their imagination that's like a huge quality that Pisces carry because of our place, our placement in the in the zodiac chart. I am the most like realistic Pisces I've ever I've ever I've ever known in my life. Like I'm so big on just like what's the raw shit? Like what's the real raw gritty shit? That's what I want to know. I don't want to be in the realm of like fallacy and illusions. Like I, I I can understand being in my imagination when it comes to me creating, but still I get my source of creation and my inspiration of creation from from being in nature. I think James said it uh, in in Free People, the documentary documentary by Naima. He was saying that creativity, nature, and spirituality go hand in hand. Literally, I mean they're all one. They're all one. I wouldn't have a creative bone in my body if I didn't exist in silence outside. And I honestly wouldn't even want to just like sit outside all day without having some creative medium to express myself through. Because like whatever is instilling itself in me and whatever is integrating within me from connecting with nature, that is that is needing to be expressed it's just an it's an innate human desire to express that and to release that and share that so that i would definitely i'm always in need of a channel to or like an outlet to to release that energy for sure everyone 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 to be honest it all goes hand in hand it's a very it's a very important thing to to our evolution Truly, man, like, truly. I know that I have more, so much more is what I'm looking forward to, actually. So much more to dive into, so much more to tap into with just gardening, you know, growing my own food, um, really creating sustainable living, you know, being a farmer. I wanna, I wanna be a farmer. By the time I'm in my, like, early 40s or, like, late 30s, I wanna be, I wanna be a full-time farmer, so that's 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 the goal that's the plan uh, my 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 relationship is only going to deepen with with myself with mother earth and with the sun honestly bro i i i i, I dead ass like i'm not even lying to y'all bro i almost not even almost i i am crying internally every day that i miss the sunset every day that i'm that i'm just like commuting from coming from somewhere and i'm in a car and i'm just like riding down the highway and i see that sun just starting to i'm just sad missing the sunset is just it's terrible missing the sunrise isn't good either i need i really do need a life that's going to that's going to propel me to having a view of the sun rising and sun setting right where i live i don't want to hop in the car and drive 15 minutes to get there i want to walk outside and have the have the horizon horizon looking east where the sun rises and then the horizon setting west where the sun where the sun ends this day or it ends the day for us i i want to i want that for the rest of my life i gotta get that asap i don't know how i'm gonna get it where i'm gonna be living to get it but i need both i need both like i need i i need both i am not joking i need it i need it like 
I fucking need it so bad. That is a necessity for me. I don't it's it's something connected in a past life for sure that me and the son why me and the son have this type of connection. It is it's definitely something rooted in a past life. It has to be. I must have just been gazing at the sun or doing some type of ritual with the sun or some other symbol that the sun reminds me of in a past life. You know, it could be it could be like a, a blazing fire or something, some sacred fire that I, I always did some type of ritual with that <clears throat> helped me evolve spiritually or whatever. And the sun just reminds me of it or something. And I and I also know all of this, all of this sun gazing, all of this sun watching that I've done in my life has truly sparked my solar plexus chakra. It has activated my solar plexus chakra and enabled it more than um, any other chakra truly in, in my being uh for sure for sure and because the solar places is so close to the heart it's it's done that too it's opened up a lot of love in me a lot of love in me it really has for those of you who don't know the solar places is the chakra associated with your ego and not not the not the negative aspect of the ego or um, the unhealthy ego, the, just like the, the, the greedy, um, the greedy, inhumane ego. <laughs> Those are the best adjectives I've had, I had for it, but not, not that ego, but the ego of like willpower and confidence and belief in oneself and self-identity and also projecting that out into the world that's what the solar plexus is is rooted in and obviously the sun is you know the ruler of the solar system it is it is soul that's another word for for the sun sol so the sun is solar energy that's why i really do feel like not even feel like i know my solar plexus chakra is fucking activated because the way i even express myself i, I literally shine my light so bright i feel it you know, people tell me it all the time. I and I and I know it before people were even telling me. That's just like I have this very vibrant personality and this vibrant expression. It stemmed from my connection with the sun. It's like shit really touches me and it really activates that part of me. It's like the connection to it. It's a natural connection. Without even me placing the intention on the sun healing my solar plexus chakra, it just did it on its own. It really did. It did it from me just, you know, the ritual of 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 gazing at the sun and watching the sunset every day like i just learned from the sun i literally learned from from what it was doing and that's why i shine my light so bright i don't ever feel like i need to you you never see the sun hinder itself or like hide itself i mean a cloud may block it but the sun ain't the sun's not scared to to rise every morning rise every rising excuse me excuse my french the sun is not afraid to rise every rising and and shine this light on whatever, whoever, wherever, whenever. It's about that life. Um, and so am I. So am I. I don't dim my light for anybody or anything. And I feel very confident in my expression. I think that's one of the reasons I'm so obsessed with who I am. And what I've, what I've just grown into being is just because I'm, I'm just so... I'm so enamored i'm so impressed by my own expression of like of of consciousness like i'm my own unique expression i'm so grateful for my own unique expression like i wouldn't want to have it any other way i wouldn't choose it to be in any other way i love how i express love i love how i receive love i love how i show love i love that i know when to when to just put aside the ego that isn't serving the greater good you know, the greater good of myself, the greater good of the people around me, my community, my environment. Like, I know when to set that shit aside. I, I just, I'm, I'm deeply in love with, with, with myself. <laughs> all credit, all credit to the true reflection of spirit, to the true, to, tr to the true God. If anything is God, like, how are we overlooking? Bro, how are we overlooking everything that has been given to us? People really are going into a building called church to connect to God. 
I'm not saying it's wrong. But what I am saying is that if man created buildings, if man created church, and man didn't create nature, but God created nature, the God you believe in created nature, why don't you spend more time in nature? Why were we brought up to go to church to worship God when man created the church and the thing that we didn't create that came straight from God was never the place we went to to worship God? Okay. We literally have it. We have the source right here. And what are we and what are we choosing to do? We have been led to to seek seek otherwise. <laughs> as if this was like as if this isn't the source. Like I, it's just it's mind blowing to me, bro. It's mind blowing to me. We've just been tricked and bamboozled. And of course, a lot of times while I kind of come at religions because it's one of the most manipulative, if not well not I can't say what is the, but it's one of the most manipulative ways to just completely detach from what you truly should be connected to in order for in order of like some other entity to like like ah some other entity to save you in in some book like niggas really put the bible over over the the codes and the secrets that exist in nature like what are we doing bro like niggas really are personifying God, giving God human qualities like jealous and like being jealous and having judgment. Okay, so to end the video, because we're finna get out of here. Ah, to end the video, for any of you who want to. Like, and I'm, I'm not offering any advice. Just look at this as a conversation. For any of you who want to be in tune with your true self, who want to get out the get out of the depression that you're in a little bit, you know what I mean? If you're in it, a little sad times, feeling lost, feeling a little confused. This is advice to myself as well, even though it's not advice to anybody, but but um, it is advice to me. It's a conversation for you. Anybody, <laughs> anybody who's going through whatever and you just don't feel good, your nervous system is just overwhelmed, overrun with anxiety and distortion, like get into some nature. Like I understand a lot of people live in cities and it can probably only find like a little city park. That's the nearest thing to them. Like some park in the city, like, and it's not the most quiet. I understand that, but do your best, bro. Like the planet is truly alive. If this isn't some fickle pseudoscience shit. Like this is, this is real. We, it, it wouldn't make sense that we're alive if it wasn't, you know what I mean? We couldn't be alive if it wasn't alive. Like this is a real conscious living body. And the love that we receive from this planet is beyond human emotion. <clears throat> it is not something that we just apply to human feelings. Love is not something that's only applied to human feelings and having and having a connection with another person. That is that falls under the umbrella, but that is a small fucking part. So the fact that the media tries to make that seem like that's what love is, like like that's the epitome of love. Like how fucking disrespectful. Like how fucking di Yeah, that's all I got. Anyway, y'all have a beautiful night. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. And I love you. Drink some water, eat some fruit, eat some vegetables, take care of yourself. Thanks for watching the Flow Network. Me and James both love you. How about that as well? Let me let me let me not just speak for myself. Jam, Jam loves you too. God loves you. The sun loves you. Earth loves you. Bye. All right, peace. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh.
Let Mother Earth feel your love, truly.